Today we're going to learn how to play Trap Tricks Rika. The new Rika engine actually gives Trap Tricks a huge power boost. And today we're going to learn how to end on some crazy end boards using everyone's favorite plant waifus. What's up team, welcome back to another in-depth review. Round here we accept everyone no matter what, unless your name is Jinzo. The new Rika engine single-handedly changed the way we play Trap Tricks forever. Trap Tricks has come a long way since Rathlesia Turbo. This deck was previously known for being a competent mid-range trap strategy. However, now you can do all of that, plus link climb your way into some saucy end boards. Now we're gonna take a look at some crazy two card and three card combos in just a minute, so keep watching. But first, let's take a look at our game plan. And by the way, I already did an in-depth analysis of all the new Rika cards, so click the video on the screen or the link in the description right now if you're not already familiar with each individual card. Now your main strategy still revolves around swarming the field with Trap Tricks monsters, while using Sarah's broken effects to set traps and summon even more monsters from deck. However, in addition to all of that, we can now also use our swarming ability to get full access to our Rika engine. Now the purpose of playing Rika is not just to link climb, because Rika actually has an easily searchable trap that synergizes energizes beautifully with our Trap Tricks lineup. The aforementioned trap is Rika Dairin Kubikarimai, and it says target cards your opponent controls up to the number of insect, plant, and reptile link monsters you control with different types. Destroy them. Also, if a face-up insect, plant, and or reptile monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect while this card is in your graveyard, except the turn it was sent there, you can banish this card then target one monster your opponent controls, destroy it, and you can only use each effect of Rika Dairin Kubikarimai once per turn. What makes this trap especially good is that it can be activated at any point during your opponent's turn. Usually you'll have at least one plant and one insect link monster on board, meaning at any point you can destroy any two of your opponent's cards. This also means that you can trigger Trap Trick Sarah to summon from deck at any point during your opponent's turn, without waiting on them to trigger one of your trap holes. Also its graveyard effect makes it so your opponent will have to think twice before removing any of your Trap Tricks or Rikas. Honestly, this trap is almost custom made for Trap Tricks. I play one because it's searchable, but there's absolutely no harm if you play it at 2. Now before we get into the combo guide, quick shout out to Triple Tactics Thrust, which synergizes very well with Mantis. Chain Hole is super underrated in this meta, but you can swap it out for a Hand Trap or a Board Breaker if needed, which I usually do game 2 or 3. And lastly, Shifter is broken, no surprise, but it kinda conflicts with the Rika engine so I took it out, but feel free to shove it back in if needed. Now let's get right into the combo guide. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe right now if you enjoy the content. Leave a comment because that lets YouTube and I know if you find these videos useful. Now let's learn how to trap tricks all over people. Alright team, this two card combo guarantees you 7 disruptions. All you need is trap tricks Mermilio plus Arachnocampa. Start off by normal summoning Mermilio. Activate Mermilio to search any trap hole. Now link summon trap trick Sarah using Mermilio. Once you do this, activate Arachnocampa in hand to special summon herself. This is going to trigger Sarah in order to set any trap hole from deck. Use this effect to set Holtea directly from deck. Now activate Holtea Holtea discarding the trap hole in hand in order to special summon herself. This is going to trigger Sarah in order to special summon any Trap Tricks monster from deck. In this variation, use this effect to special summon Trap Tricks Dionea from deck. Dionea is going to trigger to reset the trap hole that you just discarded. Once you reset the trap hole, overlay Arachnocampa and Dionea to Xyz summon Strena the Rika Queen. Once you do that, link summon using Sarah and Holtea in order to go into Aroma Seraphy Jasmine. Now activate Strena in order to detach Dionea and then immediately add back Dianea to your hand. Once you add back Dianea, activate Aroma Seraphy in order to tribute the Strena. This is going to allow you to summon any plant monster from your deck. In this variation, you're going to use this to summon Rika no Marikube straight from your deck. Marikube is going to trigger on Chain Link 1 in order to add any two Rika cards from your deck to hand, and then banish one card from your hand. Also, Strena is going to trigger in the graveyard because she was tributed on Chain Link 2 in order to special summon a Plant Xyz monster from your extra deck. Use this effect to summon Sacred Tree Beast which is going to be your negate from the extra deck, and then use Marikube's effect in order to add Kamakiri and your Rika spell to hand, and also banish Trap Tricks Dianea. Now you can special summon Kamakiri from hand by returning the banished Dianea to your deck. You do this because you want to Link Summon using Kamikiri and Marikube in order to go into your Link 2 Raika no Musha Dokuro. Kamikiri triggers whenever it's used as a Link Material for a Link Summon of a Raika in order to summon any plant, insect, or reptile monster from Graveyard. Use this effect to bring back Arachnocampa. Now activate your Link 2 Raika's effect to special summon any of your Raikas that are in Graveyard. In this case, we're going to choose Kamikiri, but it really doesn't matter. Then use your Link 2 Raika plus the Aroma Seraphy in order to Link Summon your Link 4 Bengalancer. 
At this point, you're going to activate your Link 2's effect in Graveyard in order to return the Raika Kamakiri on field to your deck so you can special summon the Link 2 back on the field. Go ahead and revive your Link 2, and then immediately activate your Raika Continuous spell that you searched earlier. The Raika Continuous spell lets you either search or revive one of your Raika monsters that are banished or in your graveyard. Use its second effect to special summon one of your Raikas. In this case, we're going to revive Raika no Marikube. Now using Marikube and the Link 2 as material, we're going to Link Summon our Link 3 Raika no Ugami Nushi. Activate Ugami Nushi to banish two monsters from your graveyard. This is going to allow you to search your Raika trap for further disruption. Now we're not done yet. Use the Link 3 you just summoned plus the Bangalancer you also just summoned in order to Link Summon your Link 5 Raika no Dayuga. This Link 5 allows you to non-target destroy any two monsters on the field if your opponent summons a monster from deck or extra deck. Now activate Bangalancer's effect in graveyard, banishing the Link 3 and the Sarah in order to revive itself. Finally, link off the Arachno Kampa that's remaining on the field in order to go into another copy of Trap Trick Sarah. Then we're going to set the Rika Trap. And now look at this end board. From only two cards, we were able to end on seven disruptions. Dayuga pops two monsters. Sarah can summon a Pudica from deck that will banish an opponent's monster. Bengalancer will bounce an opponent's monster. Sacred Tree Beast will negate an opponent's monster. On top of the two traps that are guaranteed to be on your field if you do this combo. Not to mention the whole Taya in Graveyard, which can revive Mermilio at any point to pop an opponent's spell or trap. And don't forget we assumed we only had two cards in hand. If you're going first, that means you're going to have three other cards in hand. And if those cards happen to be traps or anything that's sort of disruption, that means you're going to have 10 disruptions that are ready to violate your opponent. Okay, so this combo's a little weird. You normally want to search for your Rika engine, not draw it. But if your hand looks something like this, you need to know what to do. You enter this combo line by opening Marikube and Mantis. Start off by normal summoning Mantis. Activate Mantis in order to search any Trap Tricks monster. Make sure you search Trap Tricks Mermilio with this effect. Once you do this, Link summon Trap Tricks Sarah using Mantis's material. Once you summon Sarah, you can now special summon Marikube by discarding Mermilio from hand. Marikube is going to trigger on special summon in order to search two Raika cards. Use this effect to search Kamikiri and the Continuous Spell, and then banish Kamikiri. Now activate the Continuous Spell. Use the Continuous Spell's second effect in order to summon the Kamikiri that you just banished. Now Link summon using Marikube and Kamikiri in order to go into your Link 2 Raika. Kamikiri is going to trigger in Graveyard in order to revive Mermilio. Mermilio's mandatory effect is going to activate. It doesn't matter if it doesn't destroy anything because we just want to use it in order to trigger Sarah. Sarah is going to activate in order to set any trap hole. Use this effect in order to set Holtea from deck. Now activate the Raika Link 2, allowing you to special summon a Raika monster from Graveyard. It doesn't matter what you revive here. Once you special summon the Raika from Graveyard, Link summon using the Link 2 2 and the Raika you just revived in order to go into your Link 3. Activate your Link 3 Raika's effect in order to banish two Raikas from Graveyard, allowing you to search the Raika trap from deck. In this variation though, we're not going to use it, because we're actually going to activate Holtea discarding the trap we just searched in order to special summon Holtea. This is going to trigger Sarah's other effect in order to special summon a Trap Tricks from deck. In this variation, you're going to special summon Dianea. Now Xyz summon using Dianea and Mermilio to go into your Rika Queen Strena, and then Link summon Aroma Seraphi Jasmine using Holtea and Sarah. Activate Strena's effect in order to detach Dianea and then add back Dianea. And now activate Aroma Seraphi Jasmine in order to tribute the Strena, which will allow you to special summon any plant monster from deck. In this variation, use this to summon Trap Tricks Pudica. Now Strena is going to trigger in Graveyard, allowing you to special summon Tree Beast from Extra Deck. Once you summon Sacred Tree Beast, activate your Link 2 Rika's effect in Graveyard in order to return the Link 3 to Extra Deck, which is also going to trigger your Sacred Tree Beast to attach a material, by the way. And then once you return the Link 3 to Extra Deck, you special summon the Link 2. The reason we're doing this is because we want to Link Summon using the Link 2 and the Aroma Seraphi Jasmine in order to go into our Link 4 Bengalancer. And now finally, Finally, Link Summon Trap Trick Sarah using the Pudica on the field. Please note at this point, if you opened any other trap cards, then you set them as well. This combo does guarantee you four disruptions, three on the field, and then the whole Taya and Graveyard, which can revive Pudica or Mermilio. It's very important you know these combos so you know what to do in each situation. You already know I saved the best for last. You enter this combo line by opening Pudica, Mantis, plus any trap. Start off by normal summoning Pudica. Pudica will activate to add Trap Trick's Garden to your hand. Now activate 
activate your field spell. Now link summon into Sarah using Pewtica. Your field spell is going to give you an extra normal summon. Use this effect to normal summon Mantis. Mantis is going to activate in order to add Arachnocampa to your hand. This is going to trigger Sarah in order to set any trap hole from your deck. As usual, we're going to use this effect to set Holtea. Now we're going to activate Arachnocampa in order to special summon. At this point, you want to activate Holtea, discarding the trap you started with, allowing you to special summon Holtea. This is also going to trigger Sarah in order to special summon any trap tricks from deck. Per usual, we're going to use this effect to summon Dianea. Now we're going to overlay Dianea and the Arachnocampa to go into Strena, as well as Link Summon Aroma Seraphy Jasmine using Holtea and Sarah. Now we're going to activate Strena, detaching Dianea to add Dianea. You should be familiar with this part by now. We're going to activate Aroma Seraphy Jasmine in order to tribute Strena, summoning any plant monster from deck. Special Summon Raika no Marikube from deck. Marikube is going to activate Chain Link 1, and Strena is going to activate on Chain Link 2. This is going to allow you to summon Tree Beasts from deck, as well as search two Raika cards, then banish a card from your hand. Now we're going to use the Kamikiri we just added in order to return Dianea to deck, and then Special Summon itself. Use Marikube and the Kamikiri you just summoned in order to go into your Link 2 Raika. Kamikiri will trigger to Special Summon a monster from Graveyard. Use this effect to summon Arachnocampa, and now activate your Link 2 in order to revive a Raika from Graveyard. Once you do this, use the Raika you just revived plus the Link 2, so you can go into your Link 3 Raika. Activate the Link 3, banishing two monsters from Graveyard, allowing you to add the Raika Trap. Now activate the Raika Continuous Spell. Use its effect in order to revive one of your banished Raika monsters. We want to do this because we're going to use the Link 2's effect in Graveyard in order to return the Raika we just revived to deck, and then special summon the Link 2. Now use the Link 2 and the Aroma Seraphy Jasmine in order to go into Bengal Answer, and then use the Link 3 Raika plus the Bengal Answer you just summoned in order to go into your Link 5 Raika no Dayuga. Similar to the first combo, we're going to activate Bengal Answer now in order to special summon itself by banishing two of your plant Link monsters, simultaneously triggering Tree Beast in order to attach a monster by the way. Now you special summon Bengal Answer and then overlay Mantis and Arachnocampa in order to go into Rafflesia. Set your Raika trap and I'm actually going to show you how this plays out on your opponent's turn. At any point, you can activate Holtea in Graveyard in order to revive Trap trick Sarah, meaning we ended on 7 disruptions like the first combo, but with extra protection and versatility because of the Rafflesia. I gave 6 people Asperger's Syndrome with this deck. I predict we're going to see a lot of Rika decks like Trap Tricks pop up in TCG pretty soon. If you want to learn more about Rika, check out my Ogdoatic Rika video, where we explored the new Rika cards in depth and combined them with reptiles to lock people out of monster effects. And don't forget to watch out and stay safe.